Anyone else want in? You guys got it? You guys got it? All right. Four, four, four West, man. He's got to deal with all this media. Wes, uh, it's, it's non-stop cross-down shootout talk. It's non-stop questions all week. I know this has got to be a lot. Um, but for you, when you hone in on the game, when you get to Saturday, what is your message for your team this year and your players? First off, all the interest, you know, all the, all the pageantry and history of this rivalry and what it means to this community and both fan bases, it's awesome. I mean, it really is. It's the type of thing that you want to be involved with as a coach. It's the type of thing players come to Cincinnati to be involved in. So we embrace that part. But, you know, the, the truth is, is that we got to make sure we don't get so caught up in all this that we're not getting ready to play the game. And, um, you know, we're playing against a, a great team, a, a extremely well-coached team in a really difficult environment. And it's a rivalry game that means a lot. we got to make sure it's business as usual. That, we, we do our job repair, we have good practices, and we have the right approach going into Saturday. How prepared do you feel like your team is for this game? I know you haven't played a lot of road games yet. Is there anything you're doing to kind of get them ready? You know, I, I really believe, especially going into the Big 12, we're going to be in some really difficult environments all year against great programs yeah. all year. Everything we've been doing from the summer on is to try to prepare uh, to, to play games against the best opponents in the most difficult environments. I don't think we're doing anything tricky this week, but every day you're trying to grow, get better, and, pre and prepare to be a good team. So it's not a great answer for the media, but it's business as usual on campus at UC. Yeah, I, I mean, now having coached in this game in both venues, it doesn't matter where it is. It's electric, it's loud. I liked it a little better over at Cincinnati because they were cheering for us. But um, I, I know it'll be a loud, inspired crowd. Uh, again, I, as a competitor, those are the types of games and environments you dream about playing in. And I know our guys feel the same way. It's a little more than CMOS practice today, and he did better than expected. Is he still a game time decision for Saturday? You know, I, I we'll take it day by day, but he did practice for the first time today. It wasn't. He didn't practice the whole practice, but that wasn't because he couldn't. That's just because we're trying to kind of bring him back slowly and make sure he's okay. Uh, but I, I'd have said if you asked me earlier in the week, you know, I, I thought it'd be a game time decision after what he did Tuesday and what he did today in practice. I'm a little more hopeful he's going to be okay. Can, can this be compared to UNC? You know, I, I, I think it can. It just uh, the environment, the, the interest locally, the, the excitement about the game, rivalry game. I think in that way, yeah, but I think it's unfair to either rivalry to try to compare. I mean, there's differences. And I've said this so much about this rivalry now that I've experienced in the last two years. You know, both schools are here in the city of Cincinnati. You know, that's that's real. Even Carolina and Duke, even though they're eight miles apart, are in two different communities. Uh, the intensity of this rivalry is second to none. Um, I, I wish nationally people appreciated it, but what is neat is people do really appreciate it locally. It's a special thing to be a part of. What would this win mean to a guy like John Newman? He's been in the program for so long, missed last year with an injury. He's gotten off to a pretty quiet start, but a really good start this season so far. Yeah, I think like, like anything else, you know, the guys that have been around and have experienced it, they're going to have a greater understanding of it. It's going to mean more to them. So I'm, I'm really happy guys like Odie and Vic and John that have been here for a couple of years, you know, that, that they've experienced it. Now they get to approach it again. That also helps because they can explain it to the other guys. That's why, honestly, I don't have to say a lot about this game to our team. Number one, you guys do a good job of that for me. Everybody they run into around town since they arrived in Cincinnati has talked about it. And then they have some teammates that have been through it as well. The cross-down shootout is